I've come to talk with you again. Alright YouTube, it's uh, 2017, I have got a new rig now. Um, I'm using the uh, DJI Osmo with the uh, Rode mic and um, I'm getting a lot of comments on YouTube about um, varying aspects. Um, uh, how do I properly display my uh, FAA uh, tag number? Um, what filters are the best? Because there seems to be a number of filters out there. Um, some have issues hitting the gimbal as they calibrate with the Mavic. Um, and uh, what's the best and easiest way to uh, perform a firmware update? So today I'm going to show you that um, step by step. Uh, the first one is the uh, vinyl sticker. Um, I have this Etsy um, individual who um, who creates vinyl stickers. They're dirt cheap. Um, she sent me uh, for four dollars a uh, my FAA number as well as my phone number. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And then I don't know if this camera is going to pick it up well. It should. But um, that's my uh, tag number there, and my phone number is on the other side. But um, there is ex exactly the same color as the uh, the original Mavic um, etching. So she does a really great job. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description so you guys can get in touch with her. But basically, it's four dollars and then a dollar for the shipping to you. And uh, mine came within four days, so it's real real quick. So I'll see if I can get real close in there. Secondly is the um, the filters. Um, so I did a lot of research on this um, regarding the filters. Um, there was the Cinema Series uh, filters. There was the rumor of the DJI filters coming out. Uh, what I ended up settling on was the uh, Taco RC filters. Now they've been making filters um, through the Phantom 2, Phantom 3 line and um, they've been around for a while and they make quality filters. Um, these were the very first filters available for the Mavic that didn't obstruct the gimbal and you can actually power on. Now one of the biggest complaints is with the uh, f other filters that are out there is as you power them on um, it, it, the filter obstructs the camera and hits the gimbal and uh, really is just kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, as a response uh, many of these filter companies uh, put out instructional videos to power on the Mavic and then put the filter on but that's putting a really heavy load on the uh, gimbal itself so it's not something that I'd recommend uh, doing um, I went ahead and installed the uh, the filter from the Talk RC and uh, we're gonna power it up to show you how easy it is and the fact that it's gonna clear the gimbal without any problem alright so let's see um, if we can power this thing on and uh, see if it obstructs the gimbal. Um, I just went ahead and placed it on, um, popped it all the way on. But, um, this is an, as you can tell, this is an ND4. Um, don't know how well that's showing up. But that's the filter. And, uh, and so let's see if we can fire this thing up. unobstructed so there you go now this is the uh, single easiest way to um, perform a firmware update is you wanna go to your main uh, menu here on your uh, phone or tablet and as you can see I don't know how well you can see from this but it says firmware upgrade required now this is phone is connected to the controller the controller is on and the Mavic is on so that if I did get out of this menu I can fly the Mavic uh, just like regular um, now the best and easiest way to, to commit this firmware upgrade would be simply to just hit on the firmware update and to hit update and it says requires update download update from DJI Go homepage so you just click the update and it takes you to the web page and you hit download now and then it says you're about to download the firmware over your mobile network 
switch to Wi-Fi before downloading. So I actually am not on the Wi-Fi because I am on the Osmo. So I will switch back on to my home network and I will hit download. Now it is going to automatically download to my phone and then from that point upgrade the controller as well as the Mavic itself. So it's really just important that you let it do its thing. You don't need to remove the SD card. You don't need to install it on your computer first and then onto your Mavic. It's right there it says start update. And that's really, that's all, it, the notes on here says restart aircraft and remote controller after upgrade is complete. That's all you need to do. So just hit start update and allow it to uh, upgrade. Now I am using a um, iPhone 7 Plus. So if you're using Android, you should have something similar um, as an option to, to upgrade over Wi-Fi. Um, this will be a slow update. Um, it's at 2% now, so I will um, fast forward once it's done and then show you the complete screen. But it's truly as simple as that. Choose the firmware option, update over Wi-Fi, update from your phone, no problems. One thing to note, if it's upgrading correctly, is you can take a look at my Mavic and uh, see that the lights are going on and um, that lets you know that the Mavic is uh, upgrading. So um, the controller's upgrading, the Mavic's upgrading, so we're in, we're in good shape. Alright, so it's just got done finishing the update. It says update complete. Um, lists off what the new updates are, no big deal. A lot of it has to do with uh, gimbal and uh, cold temperatures. I'm being a little more quiet because my son's put to sleep, so I'm trying not to wake him up. I'm going to connect to it, make sure everything went through okay. And that should conclude it. Um, it did connect to um, the controller as well as the Mavic. Um, the only concern I have is at some point during the update, the fan turned off and it is incredibly hot right now. So. We're just going to have to monitor that situation. It may be new related to the um, the uh, firmware. All right, so like I said, quick and dirty um, video. Uh, my new camera quality. Hope you guys like it. Um, I don't know if it's going to work that close with the uh, screenshots. Um, I'll probably move to the GoPro in the future. But um, I will um, link the Etsy uh, or Pinterest um, link for those vinyl stickers and um, if you liked it uh, please give me a thumbs up subscribe um, I should be making a trip pretty soon for my next uh, Mavic video so uh, stay tuned for that